Hi, my name is Casey and welcome to my August wrap up. I'm going to try and go through these very quickly because I read a lot this month. Just giving you my quick thoughts, star ratings, just to wrap everything up because I like monthly wrap ups for that. Uh, this month was Bad of Books, which I took part of and read quite a few books in. First off, I read Animal Farm by George Orwell. I had to read this once in middle school and it was never explained to us what was happening, so I hated it. But this time around, knowing what was going on, I really enjoyed it. It was it was interesting and sharp and just kind of also depressingly sad <laughs> on top of all of that. So I really enjoyed this. I gave it a 4 and 5 stars. This is Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. <laughs> this is a space opera with some noir themes and vomit zombies, which is how I explain it to everyone because there is no other way to explain this. It uh, this is book one of a series. I'm not sure how many books there are going to be in it, but there are five out so far. And this is a reread. But this is becoming a series on sci-fi. I'm pretty sure it airs in December, which I'm very excited about because it looks very good so far. Uh, and obviously I gave this five and five stars. Next, I read a duology, and that is Cold Kiss and Glass Heart by Amy Garvey. These books by the covers look like they are about mermaids, but they are not about mermaids. They are about a girl who in the first one brings her boyfriend back from the dead, and you go from there. Fun reads, I guess. They were very quick. I gave the first one 2.5 stars, and I think the second one 2 or 3 stars. I don't remember. They were cute, but they weren't amazing, but I've had these on my shelves for years and years. I'm pretty sure since uh, 2011, and then... I picked this one up from Book Depository for a few dollars just so I could read them back to back. I think I picked it up like sometime last year. So I'm, I'm glad I finally got to it, but it wasn't, I didn't expect much. So I'm not really disappointed that they were only two to three star reads, but I did expect Mermaids, which might have been why I was so confused when I started reading it, but they were okay. Next, I read a new release that I had forgotten was actually coming out until like two days before it was out, and that is You're Never Weird on the Internet Almost by Felicia Day. I'm watching Felicia Day for a long time, I think is the right way to say it. Uh, I started watching The Guild in like season three or four, I think, and uh, so I came in kind of late to the game, but I really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed watching her go off and do other things, and this was very interesting, especially for someone who is also homeschooled at the beginning, that's very interesting. And then learning about things that I didn't know about, and how they made the first season of The Guild, and how they kind of kick-started almost the second season of The Guild, and it was, it was a really good read, I really liked it. It was like sitting down to dinner with her and just her telling you everything. And this obviously was a 5 out of 5 stars for me, I, I just loved it. Then I read Smoke and Mirrors by Neil Gaiman. Uh, short fictions and illustrations. This was this was his first short story collection, and I just hadn't gotten to it yet. And I'm glad I did, but I was also surprisingly disappointed at some of the stories. I still gave it four to five stars because it contains some of my favorite stories of his. One of them is a hundred words long and called Nicholas Was, and I highly suggest reading it. Uh, and also Baby Cakes, Chivalry, the one about the Holy Grail. There's more. I mean, there's a lot of them in here that I really liked, but a few that I just, I just didn't. But most of them, I very much enjoyed. And it's no game that I kind of expected. I read The Saint by Tiffany Reyes. 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 I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. And I didn't realize that until I just went to try and say it. And these covers are wonderful, but they get dirty so easily and moving with them did not go well for them. Technically the first book in her White Years series, which is a continuation of the Red Years series. Uh, and this kind of goes back in time to when Nora Eleanor was uh, 16 and kind of doesn't. It's it's really interesting. I wasn't sure if I was going to read this series, but I decided to pick it up and give it a try. I really enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to reading more. I loved the first series and I love these characters. Anyway, I, I really enjoyed this. Five and five stars. I love all of the stuff that she writes that I've read so far. Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older, which I'm pretty sure came out in June. And uh, I bought it primarily because I have heard very good things about this author. And it's about like graffiti in Brooklyn 
but also because of how gorgeous it is because this book is just beautiful like it's beautiful and I was I was not disappointed at all I gave it a five out of five stars it was a quick read it was a good read it was the characters were really interesting only really getting to know them for a short period of time I really enjoyed it and I really recommend it and I cannot wait to read more by him to Mercedes by Stephen King and I gave this a four to five stars it is about technically a retired detective who receives a letter in the mail six months after his retirement and it is from someone who he never caught and it was the uh, Mercedes killer, Mr. Mercedes. And uh, you can get a point of points of views from the killer, which I really enjoyed. It was really kind of gross at points and very twisted, but it was really interesting to see. For all, it was just kind of an eh mystery thriller. Alright, so my camera died before I got to the last book, so we're going to try this again. And last, for books I read, I'm going to split this into two parts this month just because I read so much. Part two should be up either today or tomorrow, the same day as this video or the next day, and will include the trades I read, graphic novels, and single issues. So, the last book I read... The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld. I was surprised at how much I liked this book. Very sad overall, but uh, but a good kind of sad. Like I really I really enjoyed this book, and I gave it, I ended up giving it a four to five stars. I'm not giving you a synopsis on this one because I just I feel like it's better going into it a little blind. And that's it for part one of my August wrap up. Part two should be up today or tomorrow, like I said. Uh, so stay tuned for that, and if you have read any of the books I talked about today, I would love to hear your opinion in the comments. If it matches with mine or if it doesn't, we can discuss, and have a good day!